Long range hunting is a question of accuracy and precision. How well do you get the rounds on target and how easy can you repeat that? For that, it is worth to test them with groups of five shots each and to see how tight the groups can get. If you see how accurate and precise they are, it is a no-brainer to zero them to your needs in the range you want to hunt at. However, if we do look at accuracy, there is another factor to think about besides the rifle itself. That's the ammo. There are rifles out there that do shoot well with one kind of ammo, but a really good rifle should print tight groups with a variety of factory loads. When you look at the guns on this list, you will find some that cost quite a bit, some that are more affordable, some that are specifically made for hunting, and some that are made rather for competitions. In the end, all these factors might be important for you when making a buying decision. For this list, however, it's only important that the rifle in question shoots tight groups with a variety of factory ammo. Number 10, the Christensen Arms MPR. The Christensen Arms MPR is a rifle made for hunting, and for that, it's quite portable. However, its look might actually fool you, as it does not look like the average hunting rifle at all. It comes with a carbon fiber for end and a skeletonized folding stock. Put it on the scale, and you see it weighs just a tad over 8 pounds, meaning it is not that hard to schlep it around. Using factory 6.5 Creedmoor ammo, you can easily get groups of 0.6 or even 0.5 inches. With some work, you can even tie that to 0.4 inches. For this, the Trigger Tech Diamond Trigger is a great help. Number 9, the Bergera B14 HMR. The Bergera B14 HMR is a rifle that can be summed up by the words just accurate. It's a hybrid gun that is half tactical and half a hunter. This means that you get a quite heavy barrel and a competition stock for your money combined with a smooth two-legged action. This results in a rifle that is 9.5 pounds and can be used in competitions as well for hunting. It comes with a flush-mounted QD cup and an adjustable cheek piece and the ability to print groups of less than one inch without much effort. Work with it and you get between 0.5 inches shooting 6.5 Creedmoor. Number 8, Savage M10 Stealth. The Savage M10 Stealth is a real beauty, deadly accurate. However, to be honest, it's not necessarily the rifle you might want to schlep around with you in the mountains. This barrel has a length of 26 inches, and the oversized muzzle brake does not make it any lighter. The chassis stock is stout, and you guessed it, it's just heavy. Being empty, it gets a scale up to 11.75 pounds. For that weight, you get a gun that gets the good old 6.5 Creedmoor on steel with ease, even at 1,000 yards. Even beginners can manage groups of less than 1 inches, and with some experience, you can also get that down to 0.4 inches. Number 7, Browning X-Bolt Max Long Range Hunter. The Browning X-Bolt Max Long Range Hunter is a hunting rifle with great value in its primary application. Its long range performance is super lative, and it can have an affordable price. For that, the company makes the stock in-house to save some costs. The action itself uses Browning's smooth three-lug system. It feeds from a rotary magazine that can be loaded easily and is just super reliable. Using factory loads, it's no challenge to get quite a good accuracy out of this beauty. For an average shooter, getting below one inch is almost a guarantee. If you have some experience, you get it below 0.5 inches and might even manage groups with a little over 0.3 inches. At least that is when it's chambered for 6.5 Creedmoor. Number 6, Proof Switch. The proof switch is a rifle that can just not be left out of this list. Use it as a bench gun. It's almost impossible to miss with this gun. It's just a notch when it comes to accuracy, especially in 6.5 Creedmoor it comes into its own. You can get the groups down to below 0.2 inches if you work with this gun for a while. Right out of the box it will easily get groups of 0.5 inches. As a hunting rifle it's also quite light with a weight of just 7.5 pounds making it super portable. Also, it's handy as well. Now, you might be tempted to think that with all this accuracy and lightweight, it's more like a range gun that does not live long when taken into the field. But the truth is that it's built like a tank. Stock is super strong, and the rifle can just take the use and abuse. If ever necessary, you can even swap out the barrel in a few moments. Number 5, the Seekins Precision Havoc Pro Hunter. The Seekins Precision Havoc Pro Hunters is, as the name tells you, a hunting rifle. And frankly, it's just great when it comes to longer ranges. Fat for the precision the application of hunting, it's as close to perfect as it can get. The design is meant for hunting, but definitely also influenced by competition rifles. You can see that especially in its stock. It has a moderate weight of 7.3 pounds, and it handles well. It comes with a barrel spiraling that's quite distinctive. And its trigger breaks very crisply with a pull of 2 pounds of 5 ounces. 
If you take in 6.5 PRC, you easily get groups of less than one inch, usually in the area of 0.758 inches. Bring some patience and training to the table, and you might even get it down below 0.5 inches. Number four, the Daniel Defense Delta 5. The Daniel Defense Delta 5 is a rifle that's more like a newcomer when we talk about long-range, high-end, bolt-action rifles. However, Daniel Defense has put in some work and produced a no-nonsense rifle that does come with the accuracy that's required for the job. For that, it features a three-lug action that runs just effortlessly. When it comes to ergonomics, this gun is one of the best thanks to its stock and the vertical pistol grip. But the cheek piece deserves a little bit of added work. Shoot it in 308 Winchester and achieving groups of less than 0.7 inches is no feat. Take your time with it on the range and you'll get it below 0.346 inches in no time. Number 3, the Mauser M18. The Mauser M18 will serve you exceptionally well when you want to go after deer. For that, it does not even break your bank as it can be had for less than $700. You'll be hard-pressed finding anything that accurate in this price range. Available since 2018, it's just accurate, rugged, and simple to use. It runs smoothly with a three-lug bolt action. It sports a great trigger, making it easy to bring the rounds on target. There's a variety of chamberings available, starting with 243 Winchester all the way to 3 odd 6 and 300 Winchester Magnum. If you take it in 308 Winchester, you have plenty of ammunition option for equally good prices, and you will absolutely no problem printing groups below one inch. Take your time to train with it. You'll be able to tighten them below 0.7 inches. Number two, the Ashutes 1517 American Varminter. The Ashutes 1517 is a rimfire gun that is super accurate. It features a trigger with a pull of just six ounces. The company is known for its work in the field of accuracy, and this gun is no exception. Chambered in 17 HMR, you get groups of less than 0.3 inches in no time, and of 0.2 inches with just a little bit of effort. Number one, Bad Rock Precision South Fork. The Bad Rock Precision South Fork just screams accuracy. When you look at it, and this expression is absolutely justified. However, to get one of these beauties, you'll have to put in some cash. It'll cost you more than $2,000, but it's worth every penny of it. Its precision and accuracy is just exceptional. Take it out of the box into the range with group averages of some 0.6 inches. If you put in some effort, you can get that down to 0.2 inches. The two lug action is super smooth and fast to run. With it, even a challenging shot, no problem anymore. There you have it guys, some of the most accurate rifles you can find on the market. If you know one that is missing, let us know in the comments and tell us what groups you achieve with it.